Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. The Boss Tone Studio software gives you huge amounts of uh, customizability for your Boss Katana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the tone settings in your Katana. Please subscribe, click the bell, like and share this video. So, OK, we're all connected up, um, computer connected to Katana's uh, USB port and gu guitar, uh, <laughs> just here, connected to amp in the usual way. If you're unsure of how to connect your computer to the Katana uh, and run the software, then check out my video that shows you exactly how to do that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. OK, so we're in the editor section of Tone Studio here. Uh, if you're not there, then uh, just click the editor button just there you should see a window that looks a bit like this. If we click the uh, through the tone settings on the left hand side here, um, now uh, tone settings is uh, boss's terminology for patches or presets or whatever you want to call it, um, just sounds that you can recall basically, we can click through these and you can hear the, uh, the sound changing. <laughs> So you can hear all the different sounds that are currently in my katana there. Now let's edit one of those sounds. Let's pick this top one. Now th this screen does look a, a little bit intimidating, um, but it's really quite self-explanatory once you get into it. Turn these off. Now you can use the uh, knobs to change the amp settings and EQ. So uh, we're on the clean amp at the moment. Let's uh, switch up to the lead amp. You can hear a big difference between those. Um, let's put it on crunch. And you can mess around with the EQ. So let's take all the bass out. Here that's got very, very, uh, very bright. Uh, put the bass back in. So those all work in the way you'd expect them to, just like uh, the real knobs on the amp. Now in the effects section, we can select which effects of each type we have. So, uh, and we've got five uh, different types here, booster, modulation, FX, delay and reverb. So let's say we wanted to add a bit of um, chorus to our sound that we've got here. Um, that's a modulation effect. So if we turn this knob on a bit there, now it seems like I've got some chorus set up there already, but let's have a look. If we look down here onto the modulation section, you can see that is selected to chorus there. Um, now, supposing I wanted to change that to a phaser instead. So let's change it to a phaser. We should hear the sounds change to using a phaser now. There we go. Let's just slow the rate down a bit. So I'll turn this knob down. The knob controls the intensity of the effect. There we go, the rate of that has slowed down now. So we've switched to a phaser. And you can switch between the red, green and uh, amber or yellow or orange, whatever you want to call it, um, effect by uh, clicking on this button. So you can see currently on the yellow one, we got flanger set up. So if I clicked on there and uh, to the, the yellow one, um, it will now be using whatever effect I've got set up for the yellow one here, which is a flanger. <laughs> Let's change it to a uh, tremolo sound, shall we? There we go. You can hear that tremolo sound there. And that's basically it. So um, you can click on these buttons here. So if we, if we turn that one on, the boost, that's going to the green uh, effect. So it's going to take the green effect from there, which is currently set to a blues driver. If we wanted to change it to warm OD, we can do that and it'll pick that up. <laughs> So it's reasonably self-explanatory there. Let's go back to the chorus sound we had set up earlier. So uh, we'll switch to green there and we'll set this to uh, chorus, which I've lost. Where is it? Ah, right at the very top. Uh, there, we go. there we go. So that's a, a chorus with a bit of crunch sound. That's the, the sort of coarse grain control. You can have much more fine grain control if you click on the individual uh, effects panes here. So this booster mod FX delay here. If we click on modulation to control the chorus, there's all these extra controls you can control here. Let's mess around with one with that high level there. That 
you can hear some uh, high end coming in and out as I'm uh, twiddling that. <laughs> And that's similar with all the uh, effects. So whatever effect you happen to have set, you can also change the effect that you've got set here. Um, if we, we picked booster, so that would control the, the warm overdrive. And these change obviously entirely dependent on what effect you have selected. So one important thing to say is that if at this point you click off uh, the tone setting onto another one, you will lose any changes you made. So if you, if you did that, you'll lose the changes. To make the setting stick, you have to write your changes to the amp. Now this will overwrite what is currently in that tone setting uh, and replace it with your new sound that you've just written to it. Um, so let's, as a demo of that, let's create a few sounds. Let's, let's create three sounds, three tone settings. We'll create one, a uh, clean sound with a bit of chorus, two, a mildly overdriven, crunchy type rhythm sound, and three, uh, a full on saturated lead tone with uh, overdrive and delay. Uh, we'll select CH1 here, so let's select the clean amp and we're going to use a bit of chorus, so um, see what that sounds like. Lovely. So we've got that set up now. To send that to the amp, what we need to do is click the right button uh, in the top right hand corner here. And that says which tone setting do you want to save this to? We'll select CH1 and to give it a name. So let's call it Clean Chorus. We write that. Beautiful. OK, let's set up a, a second sound. So we'll, we'll have a, a crunchy rhythm tone for this, which uh, looks like that's what it is already. <laughs> Beautiful, so we'll do the same thing with this one, right, CH2 this time, and we'll call this one uh, Crunch Rhythm or something. Uh, always have trouble spelling rhythm. There we go, so uh, finally, let's create our, our full-on saturated lead sound. So, um, oh good, so we want the brown, uh, brown amp type. Um, Let's have a, a bit of reverb and let's have a listen to that. Is that what sort of delay is that? Just mess around with that delay. So turn the gain up a bit. Lovely. Same again. Click the right button. Uh, let's, I'll just call this uh, lead, shall we? There we go. Um, CH3 selected. Write that. So those three sounds are now all saved in the katana, and we should be able to switch between them between them by clicking on these three here. So this should be a clean chorus sound. <laughs> Lovely. This should be a crunchy rhythm tone. Lovely. And this should be a full on saturated lead sound. Brilliant. So those sounds, if you went to your katana now, uh, disconnected the tone studio, those sounds will be on bank A. And uh, if you press the CH1 button, you'll get that clean chorus sound. You press CH2, you'll get the crunch rhythm sound. And you press CH3, you'll get that lead tone. One last thing, the clear button will clear any settings in the current tone setting you're editing. If you wanted to clickly have a blank slate. So for example, let's pick this one. Um, you can see that's uh, got a bit of delay sat there. We did uh, just click the clear button. You can see that's gone. So it's uh, cleared all the effects and it's a very quick way of getting rid of everything so you can start again from scratch. Hopefully now you should be able to edit tone settings on the Katana using the Tone Studio software to your liking. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell and please check out the links in the description below. Keep making music and I'll see you again in the next video.
Cheers.